guys as ever welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video thank you for coming back to me um, and supporting me if you are new hello my name is katie rose i do all things health lifestyle and fitness and if you have not subscribed why get subscribing to my channel anyway this is a little bit different i'm not at the gym today apart from all that stuff that i put on this channel if you know me or if you watch me i am obsessed with tanning i have used every tanning product on the market i have used bondi sands i have used sunkist i have used dripping gold i have used st moritz i have used garnier i have used makeup tan i've literally used a lot and i know what's good and what isn't because i tan at least two times a week and i have done since i was about 16 and i'm now 24 so you know that's a lot of tanning experience hon just saying yeah so the things with tan you can get green based tan and you can get red based tan i prefer the red based tan and um, that's more like dripping gold is red based tan and St. Moritz is green based tan, so that goes a bit green after a while. So I know every tan and all I want out of tan, I just want it to be long lasting and I don't want it to get to that point where you start looking like you've got tiger bread skin. You get the tiger bread skin, not about that life. Anyway, so I was shopping the other day in B&M, um, looking for some tan, just some cheap tan to pick up and then I found this. Um, and I've never seen, I am the tan queen and I have never ever seen this before. So this is Bondi Sands. It's clear foam. So it's everyday gradual tanning foam. It's body moisturiser, it's dual actual formula, it's coconut butter and it's got aloe vera in it. I don't normally pick up tans like this but because it was Bondi Sands I thought, go on I'll give it a go. So what I think is strange about this is it's clear. It's literally like a clear fluid so I'm like... How does that tan you but whatever so it says use this and it will make you look like you've been on bondi sand beach so let's just see so what i've done before i'm going to use this product i've had a shower i've exfoliated you must always always exfoliate you know from the tan queen over here you need to make sure all your dead skin cells have gone off your body then things for like your elbows knuckles toes knees or your dry areas of your tanning um, just put a bit of moisturise on them, that's what I like to do. So the next thing you need to do is get a tanning mitt. I don't really like tanning with mitt because sometimes they do make the tan go a little bit funny. But whatever. So, with, um, I have used Bondi Sands in the past. I used the dark foam tan. And I find Bondi Sands is really, really good. Along with Dripping Gold, they're my two favourites. But the only thing is... They're not long lasting, like they don't last for a week, especially me who works in a hospital. I have to shower once, twice daily and it just comes off and then it goes all patchy and I look like tiger red. So I wanted a tan that would last longer. So hopefully we'll try this. This is supposed to be long lasting, so we will try it out. I just want to state before um, this video, I have not been paid to do this video. It is not affiliated. It is not promoting anything. I have bought this out of my own choice and this is my own personal review because I'm obsessed with town. So this is supposed to smell like cocoa butter. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't smell like cocoa butter. It smells very um, alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know if that is even a but look, it is. It is foam. It's so weird. Look. It is foam. So I'm literally just going to start applying this. And if you like me, you know, I like to pile it on. Just, I'm going to start applying this to my body. You actually cannot see. You cannot see. It's clear. The only thing with these, with normal tanning foam, you can see which bits you have left or missed on the body but because this foam is clear you can't see where you've missed on the body um another thing with these clear tans is that they don't stain your clothes which is good so 
we shall see what they're like. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and tan the rest of my body. Here's time lapse. Is it apparently um, my tanning is finished one thing I do like about this tan is when I have a shower and I exfoliate and I moisturize I feel all lovely and clean and my skin feels amazing but then I go and put my dark foam tan on and I straight away because I do it that much I feel dirty and I'm like oh, I wish I never tanned and I'm actually getting sick of tanning because I just feel like my pores are dirty all the time one thing, one thing with this um, clear tan is I don't feel dirty, like it's so light and I feel like I've got nothing on, I'm not sticky, um, I can sit down and I don't have to waft and dry myself like I normally do. Um, I feel like I've just got out of the shower and basically just put some coconut oil on. You know, it smells nice, it's not as sticky as normal tan, yeah and I don't feel dirty. So up to now i would give it a thumbs up and um, one thing i do do differently to most people because you know i'm a tanning queen um is how i tan my face so i've done my whole body but i tan my face a little bit different i get a single brush just put two or three squirts on and blend it round the face and that's because when you use a mitt on the face sometimes it's too much or it makes your face look dirty so i find with the brush you can really blend in them creases and corners with the tan just get a brush one or two squirts and then just put the tan on like that so i can get in all the nooks and crannies and then i just blend it into my neck like so I feel like this, when I would normally put my foam tan on my face, even though um, I'm putting it on with a brush still, I still feel dirty. I feel like it's getting right in my pores. But with this, it's so light. I feel like I've got nothing on my face. Just blend it into my ears, under my neck, and then around my hairline. And then just to make sure after that, I just do one, two squirts and just do it over the hands as well. You know, when you've been doing it this long, you know all the tricks of the trade. And then I'm done. That is me done. And I don't feel dirty. I feel it's lightweight. Never been this pale in my life. So up to now, I would give this definitely a thumbs up because I feel clean but what you'll have to I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what it's like uh, so we shall see so guys I'll see you tomorrow when we see what the tan's like it is the morning after the night before and this is the result of the tan this is the result of the tan um story behind this last night I seen that it wasn't developing properly as much as I'd like it to so I put another coat on just before I got to bed and I woke up this morning I haven't showered yet because I'm going to the gym and this is the result I will say this ring light doesn't do it justice I am tander than I look if that makes sense but this is how much I've used to get this effect I've used probably a quarter of the bottle and on this bottle it does say that you've got to use it every day and it will eventually build up so this is day this is day one but I'm going to use it every every day. But yeah, I am happy with this tan. I'm going to start using it. There is no, considering it was clear, there's not one bit of streak on me, which I'm happy about. But yeah, I'm happy. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and give me a comment and let me know if you buy the tan. Bye, guys.